Plant hormones are signal molecules that coordinate growth and development at sub-millimolar concentrations. They bring about dramatic changes in plants. They are hence of great use in agriculture and horticulture where they are applied exogenously to bring about an alteration in growth and development and hence increase the agronomic value of crops. In general, Plant hormones are classified into five major classes, including auxins, cytokinins, gibberellins, ethylene, and abscisic acid. Recently, other endogenous compounds like jasmonic acid, salicylic acid, brassinolides, and strigolactones have been shown to elicit hormone-like reactions. Most hormones show pleiotropic effects, that is, they can simultaneously influence a number of diverse processes. They do so either by influencing the synthesis of one another or due to crosstalk in their signaling pathways. Cells also differ in their ability to sense hormones. The response of a plant cell or tissue therefore depends both on the concentration of the hormone as well as the sensitivity of the cell to that hormone. Genetic screens for hormone insensitivity, in spite of excess hormone availability, led to isolation of mutants defective in hormone signaling. This enabled identification of hormone receptors and signaling intermediates. In this module, we shall study the first class of plant hormones called auxins. Auxin was identified and named by Dr. Fritz Wendt in 1926. In classical experiments by Wendt and others before him, it was known that a chemical signal synthesized in the coleoptile tip moved downwards and triggered coleoptile growth. If the concentration gradient was asymmetrical, it led to curvature of coleoptiles since one side of the coleoptile received more auxin than the other and hence the former grew more than the latter. Chemically, the natural auxin was identified as indole acetic acid or IAA. It consists of an indole ring with an acetic acid side chain. Several synthetic compounds were also identified that showed auxin-like activity namely naphthalene acetic acid and 2,4-dichlorophenoxyacetic acid, which are used in horticulture as growth promoters, rooting factors, and at higher concentrations as herbicides. Auxins are principally involved in plant growth and elongation. They promote apical dominance, where the apex or tip of a plant grows while the lateral buds don't develop. Auxins also induce adventitious rooting from shoot cuttings. They may increase the rate of cell elongation in response to directional stimuli and are thus important in tropic responses, example gravitropism. Two pathways of IA synthesis from the amino acid tryptophan have been identified. In one pathway, tryptophan transaminase activity synthesizes indole-3-pyruvic acid or IPA that leads to indole acetaldehyde and then IAA. In the second pathway, tryptophan decarboxylase activity synthesizes tryptamine which is oxidized by an amine oxidase to form indole acetaldehyde and then IAA. The tryptophan precursor anthranilate can also be used as a starting point for IA synthesis in a tryptophan-independent pathway. Catabolism of IA is known to occur through peroxidase-catalyzed reactions that lead to oxidation of the indole ring to form oxindoles. Besides this pathway, photodestruction of IA is also known to occur and is mediated by the plant pigment's riboflavins. Inactive IA is also formed by conjugation with glucose or amino acids, which are the forms in which IA is transported. 
free IA is released at the site of action. Conjugation with aspartic acid, however, is irreversible and leads to IA catabolism. Auxins show polar transport along the apical basal axis of the plant. In early embryogenesis, synthesis of IA takes place in the shoot apical meristem region and it is transported basipetally to the basal part of the embryo, which later organizes into the root apical meristem. Once the root apical meristem is formed, IA synthesis occurs in this region and IA is transported upwards or in the acropetal direction. Transport of IA takes place through vascular parenchyma cells, cortical parenchyma cells and even through phloem sieve elements. IA conjugates are mainly transported over long distances through phloem. Cell-to-cell -cell transport of IA involves transporters which occur as influx or efflux complexes in the plasma membrane. Though IA is known to enter cells by diffusion of the lipophilic protonated form IAAH along the lipid bilayers, the main pathway for IA influx involves transport mediated by members of the amino acid H plus co-transporter superfamily that co-transport IA and ion IA minus along with two protons. These IA importers, OX1 for example, are energized by the proton gradient across cell membranes. Transport of oxygen from the cells is a more regulated process. Pin proteins are important components of large multi-protein oxygen efflux complexes. Location of the efflux complex varies according to the direction of IA transported. Deposition of efflux complexes in specific locations on the plasma membrane give rise to auxin gradients. Perception of auxin is known to occur by several receptors. One such receptor has been identified in the nucleus and is called TIR1, which is an F-box protein forming a component of the E3 ubiquitin ligase. This enzyme adds ubiquitin tags on target proteins and marks them for degradation. Two transcription factors, namely OX-IA proteins and auxin response factors or ARFs, form dimers and bind to the auxin response elements present in the promoters of auxin-regulated genes. In the absence of IA, OX-IA proteins act as repressors which inhibit the transcription factors ARFs from activating transcription of auxin response genes. When auxin binds to TIR1, the latter targets OX-IA proteins to the ubiquitin E3 ligase complex for ubiquitination and subsequent degradation. Removal of OX-IA repressors enables the ARF activators to bring about transcription of auxin response genes. Auxin activity is therefore regulated through its biosynthesis, conjugation, transport and degradation. In target cells, IA moves to the nucleus and leads to removal of transcription repressors that prevent expression of auxin response genes.